good morning in this session we are talking about the hierarchical clustering methods the previously discussed about the what is a clustering different types of clustering analysis and uh, the major clustering methods and uh, partitioning clustering methods now you are talking about the hierarchical clustering method what is a hierarchical clustering method this is a hierarchical method and creates a hierarchical hierarchical in the sense it is a tree form of clustering that means you are different you have a different clusters are there you are forming as a tree hierarchical cluster method creates a hierarchical decomposition of given set of data objects that means this method classified as being either agglomerative or divisive that means this method is divided into top down approach or bottom up approach here bottom up approach also called as a agglomerative and then top down now approach also called it as a divisive based on how the hierarchical decomposition is formed that means how can you form based on that information here divided these categories and then this is a one of the merge or split method here the quality of hierarchical agglomeration can be improved by analyzing object linkage at a hierarchical partition and then you have a, a different um, uh, methods are there one is a, a uh, agglomerative nesting divisive and then other one is a balanced iterative reducing and clustering using uh, hierarchies and then robust clustering using links and then hierarchical clustering algorithm that uses a dynamic modeling these are all different approaches for the hierarchical clustering we are coming to the first one agglomerative nesting or agglomerative clustering method what is a agglomerative clustering method the agglomerative clustering method is a bottom up strategy here it is a bottom up strategy here and then it the, the typically starts with the starting starts with uh, some leaf node the leaf node in the sense that means it allows us that means create object from a, its own cluster and then iteratively merge the cluster into larger and larger cluster until all objects are in a single cluster or certain termination condition are satisfied that is that is a main case here here what is the thing here if you comes to the bottom here here the leaf nodes here here the uh, agglomerative here the right side shows the agglomerative the bottom leaf node from the leaf node here each object initially consider as a single element here for example a is a one cluster b is another cluster c is another cluster like that here each and every object consider as a single one here in this case at each step of this algorithm two clusters are most similar are considered into a new bigger cluster for example here one cluster is there another cluster is there. here form as a single cluster and then like that you will get that's why it is called as a bottom up approach from the bottom to you will form finally one big cluster and then this procedure iterated until all points member just like a single big cluster here if you see here right side you have a the big cluster here identifying and then in the figure shows the big cluster the result of the tree that means the result is a tree which can be plotted as a dendrogram dendrogram that means i can show you later about the dendrogram and then for example i am taking a simple agglomerative clustering approach here here what is the approach here it the figure shows the agglomerative nesting the agglomerative hierarchical clustering method and uh, diana or uh, divisive clustering methods are two different clustering methods here here in this case i am taking the five uh, different objects here that means a data set of five objects for example a b c d e initially agglomerative agglomerative method places the each object into a cluster of its own for example a is a well, different element let us assume it forms a one cluster b is a another cluster c is a another cluster d is a another cluster different clusters are there here each and every cluster forms its a own clustering and then the clusters are merged 
step by step according to some criteria for example is for example let us assume the cluster c1 and c2 are the major if the c1 c2 are more similar elements here in this case a and b are the more similar element the similarity between these two cluster is very less less similar that means no 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 more similarity more similarity is there that's why i am found the a link here and then this is a a single linkage approach this then that means how can you represent this one here single link linked approach that each cluster is represented by a represented by all object in a cluster and the, the similarity between two cluster is measured by similarity of the closest uh, closest pair of the data points belonging to the different cluster that is a, a very important thing and the, the cluster merging process represents that means here the, this cluster merging process here that means one cluster and then other cluster places as a single cluster this is called here single linkage point after that c and a b are the similar clusters uh, let us assume c and d are the similar cluster here in this case d and e are the similar cluster and then i can form a another cluster d e is one form and then coming to the c and d e are the similar cluster i can form a c d e and then that means Uh, until where that means you will form the a large cluster out to getting a large cluster you are forming like this this is called here agglomerator you here come to the this agglomerator you introduced by the kafman uh, kafman that means it is implemented in a the statistical analysis packages s plus and then use a single link already explain what is a single link here different clusters form as a single link method here that means it use a single link method and dissimilarity matrix here in this case merges the nodes that have a least dissimilarity that means more similar elements form as a single cluster more similar elements form as a single cluster go on in non descending fashion that means all nodes belonging to the same cluster here that means at the finally all nodes belongs to the simple, similar cluster the coming to the next important one dendrogram here that means we will plot the these uh, elements these elements as a dendrogram what is the dendrogram here the decomposition of object into several levels of nested partitions that's a tree of cluster is called here dendrogram the tree of clusters the tree of clusters is called a dendrogram it is commonly used to represent a process of hierarchical clustering the dendrogram the dendrogram diagram shows like this that means it is a dendrogram here it shows that how objects are grouped together in a agglomerator method or partition in a divisive method that's called here step by step process in this diagram here the dendrogram for the five different objects here partition that means presented in a this figure here that means not a five here different objects are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 different object here having here you have a nine different object you are forming the dendrogram that means you are plotting that information finally in a dendrogram that means this kind of information implemented by using r programming or python programming also you will implement the this type of clustering you are coming to the next important one uh, uh, diana that means divisive analysis what is a divisive analysis here the divisive analysis is also called as a divisive analysis it's a worst with what's a name top down model that means previously works on a bottom up model it is a works on a top down model here you are taking the large cluster it's subdivided into different different class, smaller clusters that's called here divisive approach and then it is a reverse process inverse order of a agglomerator you know, for example it begins with the root num root root and then in which all objects are included in a single cluster 
after the root divided into a n number of clusters here for example here in the biggest user reverse process see here in the right side diagram step 0 here i am taking from all information a b c d e f after that it's converted into c d e after that that means a b one cluster c d one cluster that means a b c d divided into two different cluster after that c d e divided into c one cluster d other cluster and then d e also divided into d and e and then a b divided into a and b that means in this way you will form the reverse process of a agglomerator u here agglomerator u is a bottom up here it is a top down approach here that means the process is iterated until all objects in their own cluster until a b c r in a own cluster you will do the this information and then this is also introduced by the hoffman and ors and then implemented in a statistical analysis package this one also it is a reverse order of the agglomerator uh, that means each node form a its own cluster in a divisive analysis and then another important some of the weaknesses are the recent hierarchical clustering method the major weakness agglomerator clustering method what are the do not scale well and then can never undo what was done previously that is called here those are all some of the weakness disadvantages in a agglomerator that means the type complexity of at least order of n square where n is the number of total objects here coming to the some another uh, important hierarchical clustering approaches the integration of hierarchical clustering approaches with the distance based clustering some of the clustering methods are there <coughs> bark bark b i r k that means you already discussed this one what are this one b a i r c h the balanced iterate to and then reducing and clustering using hierarchies this one and then robust clustering using links and then hierarchical clustering algorithm that uses a dynamic model these three are the different clustering approaches what are the this one here it uses a cf tree incrementally adjust the quality of sub cluster for this one work and then rock is a clustering category categorical data for means for cluster is a categorical data the categorical data have the finite values for example age Okay, it represent young, youth, middle age. Only the value in for middle age and the old age. That is called here categorical data by neighbor and link analysis. And finally, some this one, hierarchical clustering using dynamic model. This is a some information about the hierarchical clustering approaches. Thank you.